I'm Ryan Emmons here at Urban Athlete Fitness Studio and I'm with Arista from Travel Roller and we're going to be talking about using the foam roller, specifically the travel roller, as a body roller. Okay, and We're going to use the roll release technique that, uh, that we've demonstrated in the foam roller techniques app. Just going to get you to squat right down. So put your hand on the roller, squat right down underneath the roller. Yep, all the way down. All the, all the way down. So yeah, right under. Oh, the traps. Yes, oh, okay. Some traps. Okay. Now you like my step legs? away. Step away. Yep. No, I don't oh, have yeah. to be confident with it. Okay. Now I want you to add just a little bit of a pull, and I want you to point your toes away toward the other wall. Yep. And now all you're going to do is just spring lightly with the knees. Good. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. And you're going to add some turns. So after five seconds, you're going to turn in there and do it again. Okay. That's good. So what you'll notice is as we get lower on the wall, because we're doing wall rolling, specifically to get in the trap so we can get right in the muscle. And then we're going to turn one. Yep, and then I want you to come all the way there. The most important thing about having a good body roller is that it will stick to the wall and to you. Because if you were to slip at all, it can create an injury, and that's what we're trying to avoid or we're trying to make better. So what we're doing is we're working on the traps here, and it's sticking well to the wall. It's not going to slip at all so that we can stay consistent on the muscle. All right, that feels nice and deep. Good, it should be. Keep going? Yeah, just come back this way toward me just a little bit. <laughs> okay. That's good. All right, and that's good. So we got great release Ooh. because it was deep enough on the trap and we didn't slip anywhere. So a successful roll. Awesome. As it sticks to the wall, we just don't risk any falling, right? So when people are doing deeper work, you know, when people start, they might start higher up, but as they're getting lower, and you're gonna have to trust your footing, the only thing holding you up is the travel roller. So if it's gonna slip at all, right? Some bad things can happen, someone might fall. So as I get lower, and I'm getting on this trap, and I want it to be firm, because people have tight traps, and then we're working on it, if I'm not trusting this roller, or if it's gonna slip, Right? You're not going to get great results, and the risk of injury will happen. So as I'm working on it, I just know that it will stay on this spot. The last thing we want it to be doing is allowing us to slip or even walking itself up the wall. Even if it's slipping a little bit and it's walking up, and then by the end, if I'm up here, now my effectiveness is less. So can you tell me the difference between like the travel roller and the size versus like a normal foam roller or some of the larger <coughs> diameter rollers? For sure. You can just see that the diameter is smaller, so it will get deeper into the muscle. And what that will do is give you a better physiological effect, because it will just get down to those receptors that cause a lot of the, the strain, tightness that's happening in there. Yeah. A lot of this tightness is just because the muscle's straining. Mm -hmm. And then we get that reflexive tightness. So if we can work it out deep enough, we can actually really loosen it off. Awesome. Yes.